Well, yesterday at Fairbanks Park in Terre Haute, a woman in her car was approached by a man wielding a knife and demanding money. Tacoa Consulting and Security says scenarios like this are all too common. News 10's Lacey Clifton has more on how you can take action. In the past, Angel Wells has had to put her self-defense knowledge to good use. I didn't physically have to do anything, but by screaming loud enough, it, I was able to scare off the intruder and um, have my safety along with my son. So. And as a mother of three boys, she says you can't sell yourself short when it comes to self-protection. Always in your mind know that you're a warrior. You have that inner warrior in you, which goes along with our name, Tacoa. Um, to find that and hone in on it and just never be a victim. Jeff Lee of Tacoa Consulting and Security says that even if you haven't had any formal self-defense training, there's something simple everyone can do. One of the first keys in self-defense is awareness. So many situations can be avoided if people will just be situationally aware. The victim approached at Fairbanks Park had her attention divided. She was studying in her car. If you're not familiar with the Cobra Strike or the Return to Sender, Lee says you can always make the best of your surroundings. In the case of the woman assaulted at the park, her vehicle was the perfect asset. Thankfully, she was uh, in tune enough to use that car door. They utilize that as a, as a weapon. But her purse can be a weapon, your keys can be a weapon. Lee says a safe distance to keep an attacker at bay is six feet. But if that barrier is broken, Well says whatever you do, don't leave that spot and don't go quietly. Never give up the fight. So always fight the person, yell, scream, make as much noise as you possibly can if something is happening. With photojournalist Marty Ledbetter, Lacey Clifton, News 10. For more ways to take your safety into your own hands, head to our website, WTHITV.com.